Thanks for downloading Friday Night Comedy from BBC Radio 4. If you want to find out more, visit the Radio 4 website. But not before you listen to this week's Now Show. It's called Topical for a Reason, you know. Hello, I'm Steve Punts. And I'm Hugh Dennis. With us are Susie Ruffle, John Holmes, Mitch Benn and Jess Ransom. And this is... Thank you very much. Well, this week we learned that the government department responsible for ensuring equality at work pays its female employees £2 an hour less than its male ones, <laughs> on average. That's a bit like appointing a vegan as shadow agriculture minister. Yeah, they did that. They did that. Uh, sorry, yeah, I forgot that. OK, that's like appointing a health secretary who believes in homeopathy. Yeah, they did that. They too. did that as well, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, OK, that's like having an equalities minister who voted against gay marriage. I give up! <laughs> Of course, there might be a perfectly reasonable explanation. For example, the average age of the female staff might be younger. Ah, but why spoil a good headline? Because that's how the news works. Keep it simple, keep it black and white. The messy, complicated process of compromise and concession and nuance that any democracy must engage in doesn't provide the same entertainment value. How many times have you switched on your TV or radio and heard this pointless ritual? Today, the government announced plans for a thing... With me is a man implacably opposed to the thing and a man totally in favour of the thing. Man in favour of the thing. Why are you in favour? Well, this is a marvellous thing that will benefit the country and enrich all our lives. Man opposed to the thing. What is wrong with the thing? This thing, without any doubt, will be the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone anywhere and, according to our research, could well bring disaster upon us all. In favour? Marvellous! Opposed? Disaster! Well... Thank you both, and I hope our viewers are now feeling better informed. <laughs> no, we're not. All we've heard is two polarised parrots who didn't listen or respond or answer anything the other one said. We never do anything ever. In a democracy where the will of the majority has to be balanced against the rights of all minorities at the same time, most things tend to happen in the centre. But the loudest voices tend to be at the extremes, often contradicting themselves by refusing to see any shades of grey.